All right. Well, let me uh, let me take a minute to talk about Book of Boba Fett. Uh, Joseph, do you have any questions about? Do the not show? share that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was just too perfect. <laughs> Joseph, do you, do you uh, have any questions about the show? I know you've seen some stuff about it on like Twitter and whatnot, but I'm I'm curious if there's anything that you'd like to to know about. Yeah, are the Power Rangers in it? <laughs> <laughs> um, a uh, a bootleg version of the Power Rangers do sort of exist in the show. <laughs> um, man, kind of like the bootleg version of. Uh, the Mortal Kombat characters in uh, the last episode <laughs> yes. of The Witcher. I'm gonna Go st- I'm gonna stay away from like the bulk of what is going on in the show and just kind of give more of um, overview type stuff. Okay, so um, no spoilers. In, uh, generally, no no spoil. I don't know what there is to actually spoil. Like at at this point, um, there's like tiny stuff. Maybe if anyone actually cares about it, I mean, we can give a general warning for the show, I guess. But mm-hmm. I don't know who I don't know who cares at this point. Yeah, I think people are more interested in like what is this? Why does everyone like hate it so much? Yeah. Um, so I started watching it. Right, the first episode mm-hmm. is awful. It's legitimately one of the worst pieces of television I've seen recently, and that is saying something considering a lot of the stuff that uh, Disney has produced on the Marvel side. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. You've got to do better, Senator. Emotional damage. Everyone is stupid. Everyone in the show is stupid so that the plot can move forward. Equity. Um, I like it. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. But Boba Fett Boba Fett has no clue what he's doing, right? So the whole the whole concept of this is that he comes back to Tatooine and wants to become the crime lord and replace Jabba the Hutt who died at the end of Empire. Or no, excuse me, at the end of Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Um he takes over. And Boba Fett is the uh, bounty hunter, right? He's, he's the bounty hunter. Yes, I guess for those that don't know, he's the bounty hunter that uh, accidentally gets his jetpack hit in Return of the Jedi, and he falls yeah. into the Sarlacc pit, and at the time died. <laughs> but that got retconned. I guess it's technically been retconned twice now, um, because in the extended universe he escapes, and then now in this new show for Disney's universe he also escapes um, in the stupidest way possible. So he's in this pit, right? Mm-hmm. He's he's in a tight enclosed area, and his bright idea to get out is to shoot his flamethrower. Now this doesn't make a lot of sense because he's in a really small area, right? Like Joseph, if you were trapped in a really thick fleshy box, okay, that's kind of the equivalent here. And you had right. a flamethrower with you, and you shot that flamethrower inside that kind of thick, fleshy box. You would you be burned get alive. Hot. Yes, yes, you would be. You would be burned alive, right? Um, so that's you're gonna like, get a little smoky. Yeah, right? that's one of the things. There's this whole like dances with sand people side plot that's just annoying. Um, it, it's. I mean, it, dude. There's stuff. I uh, I sent you that one. Uh, clip yeah. of him on the speeder bike so he's trying to like teach the sand people how to ride speeder bikes and that's like what that is and he's like hopping up and down going like a bantha see <laughs> and you're like what is this like a bantha. Yes. it's rough dude uh i i think the third episode is the one that's gotten a lot of the people who were sitting around going no 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 give it time give it time they know what they're doing they're gonna give us the real boba fett like we're going to get something really interesting and he's just not showing up. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't he I I asked a buddy of mine um I don't think he shot a blaster uh since the show started. He may have once in some sort of like passing moment, right? But he does not shoot guns. In fact, a majority of the people in the show don't shoot uh blasters in Star Wars. Interesting. It's very weird. Everyone goes to um, sticks and knives. There's literally a scene right in the third episode where Finnick, who's his like uh, his bodyguard assassin, who owes uh, uh, her life to him because she uh, he saved her. Um, mm-hmm. She she is a sniper, right? Like her whole thing is that she's this like marksman assassin. She's supposed to be the best in the world. Yada yada, right? 
So there's a scene right. where she picks her rifle up right after this insane, uh, like insanely stupid fight has happened inside of their like uh, their lair or whatever. And you're like, oh, OK, uh, she's going to shoot the guy. Uh, she doesn't shoot him. She pulls a knife out of the back of the gun and throws the knife instead of shooting the gun. <laughs> It is just like nice. Oh my dude, I'm telling you, and that's like the logic in the show. You're just constantly going like, oh, okay, yeah, right. There, uh, this should make sense. Oh no, they didn't do well, that. Disney doesn't have much logic, so I, I don't know what they're doing. I I don't understand. Well, um, how was sorry. the? I do have one question. How was the moral morality of this show? Was there anything? You know how Disney's been with most of their shows putting out this questionable morality? Yeah, that's a good question. Um. Did you see anything? Yeah, I know it's, it's only, what, three episodes in? Yeah, it's questionable. And again, it's it's this most recent episode, I think. Well, for one, the Tusken Raiders are the Sand People, right? Um, mm -hmm. They're supposed to be sort of this, like, nomad group that kills people and steals from them. And mm -hmm. Disney's trying to turn them into good guys, right? They're trying right, to do of the course. Same, they're trying to do the same thing with Boba Fett. It's like he came out of the Sarlacc pit, and now he wants to be a nice boy. Um, yeah, of course. Or, dude. like, a nice man. He, do he doesn't want to be the bad men anymore. He wants to be the nice man. Uh, and then you've got, uh, in the third episode at the beginning, uh, a water salesman or something comes to him because Tatooine doesn't, you know, it's a desert planet, doesn't have water. Right. So the water salesman comes to Boba Fett and says, hey, these guys are stealing my water. So Boba Fett goes to see these, uh, this like gang, right, who's been stealing mm -hmm. water, who admits directly to Boba Fett, yeah, we've been stealing water from that guy. Where'd you get that water? We stole it. Instead of punishing them for their insolence and uh, getting the money due to this merchant, right? He hires the gang and gives the guy like a third of the money that was owed to him and says, shut up and take it and get out of my sight. And there's like part of me that goes, okay, well, that would make more sense if we were talking about a Boba Fett who was, uh, who was the same character that he was before, right? Yeah. Um, not this new nice man Boba Fett who is making friends with the sand people and and trying to like change for reasons. Um, right. The show doesn't seem uh, this is a problem the Mandalorian had too. Show doesn't have any direction. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what anyone's motives, what their goals are. Finnick has been in. She was in. An, she was in four episodes of the Mandalorian. One in season one, and then three in season two. Mm -hmm. And then she's been in three episodes of this show now. I don't know anything about her. I know she shoots a gun good. And she has a robotic stomach. That's all you need to know. So that's that's basically the show. I, I, I've i already spent more time on it than I really I needed to. Um, and there's so much more, dude. Like, I'm... Oh, my gosh. I'm on episode three, like, trying to write this whole thing out um, for mm -hmm. our, our YouTube channel. And it's like... <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane. It's insane how dumb he is. He just like in the first episode, he forgets he has a jet pack. And he's supposed to be this big, like elite bounty hunter, isn't he? He, he this is the guy who um, talked back to Darth Vader. Yeah. He gave like. lip to him, right? He worked for Jabba the Hutt. So you're talking two of the biggest villains in like original Star Wars. And he's the guy that Vader went up to at one point and said, uh, no disintegration. But I want them alive. No disintegrations. As you wish. Don't disintegrate these people. And now we're getting like Boba Fett riding on a speeder bike going like a bantha. It's, it's unbelievable, dude.